Earth Takes a Break, written and illustrated by Emily House. We look at the end papers at the beginning, the sky is really dark and full of clouds. Earth takes a break. Once upon a time, not a very long, not very long ago at all, really, Earth was feeling extremely unwell. Her symptoms were getting worse and worse by the year, so she decided to go to the doctor. She looks real sick. What seems to be the problem? The doctor asked as Earth took a seat. Well, replied Earth, I've been feeling in a bit of a spin for a good while now. Now you or I might feel like we're in a spin if we feel dizzy, but what does the Earth do? The Earth spins on its axis, right? Sometimes I feel as hot as a hot potato and I'm finding it hard to breathe. I can't remember the last time I smiled. To be quite honest, I'm feeling rather anxious too. I see, said the doctor. You do look a little under the weather. Let's check you over. The doctor took Earth's temperature. Hmm, he said. He checked her breathing. Hmm, he said again. Then he measured her blood pressure. Oh, Dear, he muttered, you are not well, not well at all. He scrawled purposefully on a pad of paper. You're to take this daily for four weeks and make sure you complete the course. To complete the course means if he says to do this for four weeks, she has to do it for all four weeks, even if she starts to feel better. Earth peered at the paper. So this is the prescription that the doctor has written for Earth. Can you read it? No, doctors are notorious for having bad handwriting. Thank you, she said, but I can't work it out. What does it say? Rest, the doctor said sternly. You must rest for at least four weeks. Earth was tempted to laugh at such a crazy idea, but the doctor seemed like a nice enough man and she didn't want to appear rude. Instead, she said, that's impossible. I can't do that. Everybody needs me. All the more reason to take a break, said the doctor. Frustrated, Earth scrunched up the note. As much as she craved the rest, she couldn't see how it would ever happen when the humans demanded so much of her. So you and I, that's what she's talking about. We are the humans. We demand so much of the Earth. After a restless night, Earth awake, awoke the next day to a strange sense of quiet. There were no cars on the highway. There were no planes in the sky. Hmm. And there were no people in the parks, on the mountains, or on the beaches. Where are the people? Staying inside their house. There was no one at all, anywhere. The same happened the following day and the day after that too. Earth was very confused. Suddenly, little Birdie appeared out from the clouds. Haven't you heard, he tweeted. Little Birdie always knew everything first. The humans are ill. They've been told to stay at home for a whole month. At last, we can have a rest. I can't believe it, replied Earth. It's just what the doctor ordered. And I get the whole sky to myself, too, said Little Birdie, fluttering away happily. Over the next few days, Earth enjoyed the peace and quiet. She took country walks. She relaxed with books and built 1,000 piece jigsaws. She even experimented with some homemade beauty treatments. And as the weeks passed, little by little, her health began to improve. Did you do any of these things when you had to stay at home? Puzzles, reading. 
the dark clouds cleared and she saw the bright blue sky again. It had been hidden so long that she had forgotten how beautiful it was. The trees blossomed and danced happily in the breeze. The plants grew tall and strong, free to roam. Oh, sorry. And the animals were free to roam, just as they always used to do. Earth noticed her breathing was easier and her head was cooler. She felt better than she had in years. And it was absolutely wonderful. So because there are no people outside, nobody is littering, nobody's polluting the air, there's nobody in their cars, no gas. Finally, the humans were allowed outdoors again. Earth was pleased. Although they weren't always nice to her, she had missed them in their funny ways. The humans had missed her too, much more than they had expected. They could not believe how good she looked and their time indoors had made them realize that they had not been treating her very well at all. We are so, so sorry, Earth, they said. We know we made you ill and we want to change our ways. We will do all we can to look after you. Hearing this filled Earth with hope and she smiled a fantastic beaming smile. Thank you, she said. I am still quite fragile. I need all the help I can get. And from that day on, the humans worked together to care for Earth like never before. Of course, they still made lots of mistakes. They were only human after all. And it was too late to fix some things, but they tried their very best to be good friends to Earth which was all that Earth had ever wanted. And the birdie is saying, the end. What do you notice about the end papers at the beginning of the story and at the end? Yeah, it's a clear blue sky now. There are still clouds, but there's none of this dark smog, the pollution in the air. So, while we were unhappy to be indoors when we were in lockdown, it did make a substantial impact on the earth. And we saw how much our actions affect our planet. And even though we get to go outside now and we're driving our cars and going places, we still need to be mindful to take care of our planet.